All right, guys, in this Ramus guide, we're going to be first going over the passive and abilities and the type of combos you can do with him. And then at the end of the video, I'll go into the Ramus loadout, what type of build and runes you should be running. So first, let's start off with the passive and abilities. So the passive is actually really cool, guys. The rolling armadillo. It's so cool. Uh, while out of combat, you gain 60 movement speed, increase to 180 during Powerball. Powerball is his first skill. Exit combat after not taking damage or using abilities for 5 seconds. So, yeah. So, basically what this means is, as you guys can see, when I'm just walking out of combat right now, I'm just rolling around. I'm rolling around. And then you can see how fast my, uh, my passive will be once I use my skill 1. So, let's read this skill 1, which is the Powerball. Enables rolling armadillo and accelerates up to 180% bonus movement speed over 6 seconds. Colliding with an enemy deals 105 magic damage in an area. Knocking back and slowing enemies by 40% for 1 second. So if you hit this, the slow is pretty big guys. It is pretty big. And activating cancels defensive ball curl and puts it on cooldown. So basically you can cancel it anytime within the, the 6 seconds. All right, so let's level it up. Now, guys, you move so fast, and the, the sound of this ability is amazing. Look at this. Mm. Boom. And as you can see, I got a little knock-in. So let's do it one more time. I love this ability, guys. Look at this. Mm. Oh. Boom. It's pretty cool, and that slow is pretty huge. 40% slows, guys, is pretty important. So... You can you can definitely you definitely want to land that when it comes to ganking especially that would be super good and you might want to be able to pre charge it because over time you will get faster and faster and faster and as you can see my turn my screen will turn a little bit yellow so yeah that's basically how that skill works let's get into the second one defensive ball curl spiked shell attacks deal seventeen percent bonus uh seven seventeen bonus magic damage. Uh, basically, so when you use this, your auto attacks will do a little more damage. Uh, brace for up to 6 seconds, slowing Ramus by 30% while gaining 133 armor and 35 magic resist. While curled, spiked shells deals 50% more damage and applies to enemies that attack Ramus. So, what this means is when, they, when enemies attack you they will also take damage at the same time so what what makes this ability super good it makes you tanky i mean it makes you yeah so it makes you tanky it makes the enemies take damage when they auto attack you but the one thing about it is you will get slowed so as you can see i'm pretty slow right now they're like i'm slowed by 30 30 percent which is a lot but i could also cancel the ability whenever so as you can see the line shows the ability let's say i want to start moving boom i could click it now Right, so when I use it, I'll do more auto attacks. As I can do more damage per auto. So that was 55 with 37. My normal auto is 55 with just 17. So yeah. you definitely get a little bit of increased damage. So when you close the gap on them, you could definitely use this ability uh, to do extra damage, and they will actually tank. They will take damage if they auto attack you while using this ability. All right, the next one. Taunt an enemy champion or monster for 1.25 seconds and gain 50% attack speed for 5 seconds. So you get attack speed and you're able to taunt someone. So as you can see, you literally could just click it and boom, they're taunted and they're chasing you. As oh, look at this. So yeah, taunting is pretty, pretty, pretty strong in this game in my opinion. I have obviously the zero cooldown on right now. So when you use it, it's a pretty long one point. 1.25 you could definitely uh ha get some follow-up from your team when doing this so uh, it is it is pretty good it's pretty good and also you get a bunch of attack speed look how fast you can auto attack boom 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 and then it's once you don't have it this is normal when you have it boom 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 look at how fast you're you're hitting so let's we got to taunt this dummy back up here for a little bit all right now the ultimate guys the ultimate is pretty sick soaring slam Hop into the air and slam down, dealing 125 magic damage and creating aftershocks for 4 seconds. Aftershocks deal 35 magic damage every second and slow enemies incrementally by 12%, stacking up to 60%. Wow, that, that slow is pretty crazy. Uh, soaring slams range increases with movement speed. So basically, the more movement speed you have, the bigger the range of your, your ult is. Alright. 
and aftershocks damage structures as well so like turrets and things like that so that's pretty cool so all right let me just show you guys how this ability looks it's basically like this boom and you guys can see the aftershocks boom boom so there's four aftershocks because it's for four seconds so you get one every second we'll do it one more time this gets as you guys can see the range is 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 pretty small right the range is pretty short so once i once my passive gets gets involved here and let's say i use my skill one the range is increased guys do you see how long the range gets boom so that's why combo so that's why when we get into the combos guys it'll be pretty crazy but look at how much look how much damage the aftershock does with the slows as well you got to make sure you hit a bunch of targets with this and you definitely can't i mean this champ is going to be so strong but all right let's get into some of the combos so the first combo we're going to start off with is the skill one and flash so you can skill one while flashing guys uh if you did not know that so basically you would only want to do that if you really want to close the gap to make sure you land that slow and knock up so we're going to do that right now let's say i'm just about to get out of range and i need to close the gap boom that's what you have to do but obviously like i'm i'm burning up my power ball so if i am in a situation where i need to hit this and i don't have enough time boom i'll be able to flash get the knock up and slow so uh that is one combo you could do another combo that is super critical when it comes to ganking lanes guys so this next combo is for for ganking lanes is you're gonna want to use your skill one and skill three because the skill three gives you the taunt so let's say you're gonna gank you're gonna start your power ball you're gonna go up to the enemy hit them and you're gonna hit them with the taunt and then you want to use your skill two if you can but here's the thing when you're ganking the enemy is gonna try to run away so if you use your skill two you're gonna get slowed by a lot so it depends on the situation whether you want to skill two at the end there but you definitely want to skill one and skill three for sure so Coming for the gank, boom, get the knock up, and then you want to taunt, okay? So that is a really good combo you could do. Another simple combo is let's say you're on someone, you just taunt and use your skill too. Simple, if you're just on someone, because you get not only the bonus magic damage on your autos, you're getting that attack speed as well from your skill three. So the skill two gives you the extra damage, skill three gives you the attack speed to do more damage. So that, it, it, it's really good, guys. And now let's do some combos with the ultimate. So with the ultimate, simple combo is you're using your skill one first so you get that increased range you guys see that you guys should see that the range of my ultimate is getting bigger bigger and bigger which is really good but boom i ran out of it there so yeah skill oneing and ultimate is really good and also i mean this is a no-brainer but if you're using if you have all your abilities up you're gonna skill one you're gonna ult skill three skill two i mean that's just a no-brainer obviously or you could even skill two and then skill three which uh just it always depends on the situation on your cooldowns as well so when i'm going in it's simple this simple boom so yeah guys that's that's basically all the simple combos you need to know on Ramus, and they're very easy to master guys all you got to do is go and practice and give it some tries and you'll be really good so guys i mean this champion so much fun uh it's just amazing so with that we gone over the passive the abilities and the combos let's get into the build slash loadout all right guys we're now here taking a look at my Ramus loadout so what what do you really want to be doing with Ramus? you want to build a bunch of tanks so you're going to first start off with Sunfire Aegis and the whole idea behind this item first is to help with your clear as a jungler. Then you're going to go Thorn Mail, Mercury's Glory. You could also go, uh, okay, so with the boots, I'll just go a little bit detail. So you either want to go uh, Mercury's Treads or Plated Steel Caps, depending on what you're up against, a lot of MR or AR. Uh, you just go on that. Abyssal Mask, Force of Nature, and Dead Man's Plates. Obviously, some of these will be needed to be changed in certain situations, but I'll definitely make sure to stick with the Sunfire Aegis and Thorn Mail. Now, for the runes, you're going to be going with Aftershock because you're going to be immobilizing enemies really efficiently. And guys, weakness is so strong on this champ. You're going to you're gonna make them take 5% more damage in the following 5 seconds when you impair the movement of enemies. And you're always going to be impairing their movement, man. You have a lot of things to impair their uh, movement with, especially with ultimate. Now, you can run Hunter Titan 3rd or you can run Backbone. It just really depends on what you need 
uh, in the game, but I think Hunter Titan will be a nice standard go to. And as a jungler, you're usually going to always be running Mastermind, especially to be doing true damage on, you know, epic monsters and especially turrets and objectives. It's really important to have that uh, to make sure you could get objectives. Now for the spells, obviously you're going to run Smite and flash and for some reason if you want to throw Ramus in the top lane or mid lane or whatever you want to do something with him i would go ignite probably or even barrier but yeah that is the Ramus guide so thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this thank you guys so much all right i'll catch you guys in the next one peace all right, guys, for the few people that are still here in the comments, I want you guys to just put something down below so I know you made it to the end of the video and I'll be choosing a comment later down the road and I will be giving you a free Ramus skin. So thank you guys so much for making it all the way. Make sure to let me know you finished the video all the way through. Peace.